Have you ever faced a situation that almost brought you to your knees? Have you ever felt so challenged that giving up seemed like the only sensible option? Well, today's video is for you. We're sharing seven timeless, stoic lessons on perseverance that will inspire you to keep going no matter how tough it gets. Before we begin, I would appreciate if you liked the video so that you can help me to continue spreading the stoic philosophy. If you are not subscribed, I recommend you to subscribe and activate the bell so you don't miss any video. Lesson 1 Accept Your Fate Embrace every moment, even moments of struggle, and realize that your existence itself is rare and beautiful. Many of us navigate life tightly, clinging to our vision of how things should unfold. We exert control or desire control over the variables of our life. But the hard truth is, many things are beyond our control. So what does this mean in practice? It means we should not resist the challenges or setbacks life presents us with. We need to accept them as integral parts of our journey and focus on the only thing we can control how we respond. Lesson 2, Don't Complain. As Marcus Aurelius once stated, everything that happens is either endurable or not. If it's endurable, then endure it. Stop complaining. Instead of dwelling on the problem and blaming external circumstances, Stoics advise us to shift our focus towards what we can do about it. They ask us what can we learn from this, and how can we grow out of it. This mindset can dramatically transform our lives, propelling us from passive sufferers to active problem solvers. The Stoics strongly believed in the value of silent endurance. Lesson 3 Realize It's Not the End of the World Problems can appear so massive that they block out any glimmers of hope or opportunities that lay beyond. However, understanding that even if life sucks at times, it's not the end of the world can help us approach problems with a more balanced perspective. Bad days, losses, and disappointments are merely parts of the large, complex, and incredibly rich tapestry that is life lesson 4. Don't just sit there and take it. Seneca lucidly reminds us that putting things off is the biggest waste of life. It snatches away each day as it comes and denies us the present by promising the future. Live immediately. Perseverance is not about passive endurance. Stoicism breaks the common misconception that enduring suffering equates to mere waiting for the storm to pass. Instead, it urges us to harness the power within us to actively combat our sufferings. When we fall into the trap of procrastination, we allow our suffering to gain full control. By postponing the necessary actions to face our difficulties, we're inadvertently intensifying our distress and surrendering to hardship. Instead, Stoics advocate actively working towards ending our suffering. It's essential to remember that perseverance is active. It's a combination of tenacity and problem solving. We persist not through inaction, but through deliberate, thoughtful, and even forceful responses to adversity. Lesson 5, Demand Better for Yourself A crucial aspect of Stoicism and perseverance is centering our needs and expectations in our own hands instead of outsourcing them to others. As Epictetus stated, if you want to improve, be content to be thought foolish and stupid. Perseverance isn't just about enduring hardships. It's also about having a strong vision of what you want from your life and persisting towards it. However, demanding better for yourself doesn't just imply setting higher career or personal goals. It also means expecting more from your treatments and interactions with others. Don't allow people to belittle or disrespect you. Assert your boundaries and treat others with kindness and firmness. More importantly, demand the best from yourself, your attitudes, your actions, your reactions, your health and your life decisions. Lesson number 6, Stop Torturing Yourself True to its core, Stoicism places a great deal of emphasis on the power of our perceptions and interpretations. Or as Epictetus simply put, we suffer not from the events in our lives, but from our judgment about them. One of the main ways we torture ourselves is by taking our troubles personally, blaming ourselves excessively for what's not in our control, and turning factual situations into negative narratives about our worth. Countless studies have shown that the way we talk to ourselves significantly impacts our mental health. 
Negative self-talk can create a self-fulfilling prophecy where we distort our perception of our abilities and potential, eventually leading to decreased performance and a greater likelihood of failure. So stop torturing yourself with negative interpretations, self-doubt, and harsh critiques. You're human and you're allowed to make mistakes. You're allowed to fail, and just as importantly, you're allowed to pick yourself up. Learn from your failures and keep going forward. Lesson 7, Use Your Resources Sometimes we foolishly ignore the tools we already possess in our toolbox while gazing at others' resources. We have resources such as resilience, critical thinking, experience, patience, and more. Each one of us has a unique set of resources, skills, knowledge, experiences, and relationships that we can leverage in times of adversity. The key lies in recognizing these resources, nurturing them, and knowing when and how to use them. And while internal resources form the foundational elements of perseverance, do not forget the power of external resources. Whether it's seeking advice or assistance from others, or leveraging technology and tools, make sure to use all resources at your disposal. So ask yourself today, what resources do I have at my disposal that I've overlooked or forgotten about? Now we'll love to hear from you. Which of the seven Stoic lessons resonated with you the most? Share in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who might benefit from it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Keep the spirit of perseverance alive and until next time stay stoic.